Cycle Curves by João Pedro Carvalho and Francisco Fortes, BBA 2015. Let us consider a coin of radius r rolling on a flat surface without sliding or spinning, and a point p on the edge of the coin with coordinates x of t, y of t. We want to describe the trajectory of p as the coin rolls along the x-axis by writing the parametric equations for both x and y. The position of vector, po of vector of point p can be decomposed in the following manner. Vector p is equal to vector u plus vector v plus vector w, as shown in the graph. Since we assume that there is no spinning or sliding, the magnitude of u must equal the distance traveled by p along the border of the coin, that is, u is equal to theta ri. Vector v is always the same, meaning that it has the same magnitude, this being the radius, and the same direction, being vertical. Therefore, vector v is equal to the radius times vector j. Finally, let us consider for simplicity that the circle is stationary and centered at the origin. Let us look at vector w as an arrow pointing from the center of the circle. Thus, vector w has a magnitude of r and moves clockwise as theta increases, starting at position 0 minus r. By definition of the function cos theta and sin theta, the vector cos theta i plus sin theta j moves anticlockwise starting at point one zero as theta increases from zero to infinity. Therefore the vector cos minus theta i plus sine minus theta j will move clockwise. This implies that the vector cos theta i minus sine theta j will move clockwise as the theta is measured clockwise as well. In order to start at point zero minus one, we must add pi over two in the argument of the trigonometric functions. At least we can at last we can write as follows that vector w is equal to r cosine of pi over two plus theta vector i minus sine pi over two plus theta vector j. This is then equal to r minus sine theta vector i minus cos theta vector j. From these observations we can all go on to conclude and write as follows that vector p is equal to r theta minus sine theta uh, vector i plus r 1 minus cosine theta vector j. If we were to assume that the angle is seen as being the time, we then go on to obtain the following parametric equations. That x t is equal to r t minus sine t, y t is equal to r 1 minus cosine t. This has all to do with the totochrome properties of the cycloid curve. And uh, now the end is near, and so I face the final.